Hey guys, it's Lisa from 2 Got a little different kind of video for you guys today. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a simple jingle or intro for your videos or your website using GarageBand. And for those of you guys that have Mac computers, you know that GarageBand comes for free with your computer. So now if you're a professional and you do this stuff like on the regular, go easy on me because I'm not a pro when it comes to this stuff at all. I learned enough just to be dangerous. So if I call out something or if I don't use the proper terminology, forgive me. I'm doing my best. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing that I do when I create my music is I come down here after I've launched GarageBand and I click the loop browser icon, which is this little eye. It looks like an eye. That's basically, I guess that's what that is. Yeah. So you click that and it's going to open up your different loops. So I always start with a beat, right? So I click the beats button over here and in the bottom of this window, there are a ton of beats that come up. Now, I have more than you may have because I've actually purchased some expansion packs, or they call them jam packs, because I didn't want my music to sound like everybody else's. I wanted to have some additional loops to play with, so I did buy two different jam packs to add to what I already have. So I've got a nice little selection of loops here. So what I typically do is I just go through and start listening to a few of the loops, a few of the beats, until I find something I like. So you can click the little musical note icon to hear what it sounds like. So let's pretend that that's the one I want. So I'm going to click and drag this over to the track. So if I want to play it, I can hit the space bar. If I want to stop it, I can hit the space bar again. And if I want to move the playhead back to the beginning of the song, I hold down the function key and then hit the left arrow and you can see the playhead just jumps back over to the left. So now let's add a melody to what I've done. You can't just have a beat. I mean, actually you can, but it sounds a lot more interesting if you have, you know, a melody. So before I do that though, notice that the beat that I selected have a, had a tempo of 80. See that right there? That's important to note because you want to make sure that all of your tracks have the same tempo. Otherwise it's not going to match and it's going to sound kind of crazy. So let's come up here and deselect the beats button. Now I'm going to select piano and I'm going to look for a piano loop that has the same tempo. So right here, you can see there are a ton of them with the 80 tempo. So let's just start playing a couple of them. These all kind of sound the same. Let's use this one. So I'm going to click and drag it over here just like that. And I can hit the space bar to hear what I have so far. This is too easy, right? So now we need a little bit of bass. I like a little bit of bass myself. So let's select the piano key and then go over here to bass or deselect, I should say. And so now we've selected the bass button. And again, we need to find a bass with that same kind of tempo. So let's play a few of them. Kind of simple. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I might have to turn it up. So let's just choose this one for the sake of the example. And we're going to drag it over there. Now notice it's very short, right? So I'm going to have to copy this so it can extend throughout the entire track. So I'm going to select it with my mouse and I'm going to hit command C, which is equivalent to like control C for windows users. And I'm going to click. So the playhead goes right to the end of it. And I'm going to do command V to paste it again and paste it again and paste it again. So it goes all the way to the end of the track. So since this bass is so quiet, let's turn it up a little bit by clicking and dragging the volume of the track over here. I really act like I know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> and let's quiet down the piano a little bit by dragging the volume. Same thing with the beat. So let's hold down the function key and use the left arrow to bring it back to the beginning. Hit the space bar and we're going to hear what we've got. Okay, the bass is too loud, so we're going to make the piano a little bit louder. 
make the beat a little bit louder. So let's try that again. Okay, it sounds a little redundant, a little repetitive um, to me, but that's just because it's the tracks that I chose. But I just wanted to do this so you guys can get an idea. And the more loops that you have available over here, the more you can do. There's so many different types of loops. There's jazz loops, there's uh, cinematic loops. So if you want a news broadcast, you can have this here. Kind of crazy right so you can do so many different things with these loops but hopefully you guys can see how easy this is all you really have to do is just match up the tempos and then choose a beat choose a melody you know get a guitar get a piano whatever and you can create a loop and so all i would do now is just save it export it as an mp3 file and upload it to my video editing program iMovie final cut whatever i'm using and I'm good to go. So hopefully you guys found this useful and thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.